So everybody is convinced. You can't abuse an adult. You can't cyber bully somebody. You can't abuse somebody online. You are overlooking the one major factor that changes my situation from the thousands of other cyberbullying situations out there. And that factor is my aunt. You can sit around and say all day long, the opinions of strangers don't matter. You shouldn't let it get to you. So what if a bunch of people who don't know you don't like you? Who cares? They're just words. They don't mean anything. The people don't mean anything. They're not real people. You don't know them. You'll never meet them. Okay. My aunt, she's a real person. She's a person I've met. She's a person I might actually meet again in my life. She's related to me. These are reasons why her words would be a little bit more hurtful than yours. And what are her words? For the past year, not just, not just in comments, not just in words that I could put my own inflection on and, and turn into meanness. Her own words in her own videos, if you'll go and listen to the consistent, belittling, degrading, diminishing, trivializing. She has flat out said that my tears aren't real, but her family's are. And still, nobody can see the narcissistic abuse that, that that statement is. That very statement is the most narcissistic fucking thing. Because everybody's tears are real. Everybody's pain is real. And if you're looking at another person who you've caused pain to and thinking, they're just faking it. You might be a piece of shit. And I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be cruel or hateful or send anybody to hurt you. But if I saw somebody in public belittling and harassing a mentally unwell person, just repeatedly telling them they were garbage, repeatedly telling them they were never going to be loved, never going to be released, never going to be free, never going to be anything. And that person would just crying and pleading and begging to be left alone. If I saw that, it would break my heart and I would not be okay with it. Thousands of people are watching my aunt do that exact behavior and they're ignoring it because, well, it's just online. We can't prove that she's actually feeling this way. Emotional abuse from family can literally destroy a person just as easily as physical abuse. And the emotional abuse from my aunt If y'all had a therapist or a psychologist watch my aunt's video and told her that the per told that person that the, 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 the person that my aunt was referencing in all of these horrible things was her own blood. They might have some words that would probably be a lot less nice than you people are garbage. And it, it changes a lot when it is family that's doing it. It changes a lot when it's an abusive family situation that you're speaking out on and constantly being told nobody is ever going to hear you. Because as a child, when you're being abused, there is this constant thought in your head that even if you speak out, nobody is going to believe you because you're just a child and your family knows best. But when your family 
believes that you don't deserve to exist that everything about you is fake that you're not a real person that you're trash that you're shit that that you have mental health issues that they have ignored and blamed you for instead of trying to accept and love you for the family dynamics that I am dealing with are not okay they're not normal they're definitely not loving and it's like y'all took an abused person and then listened to their story and 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 then just decided to start abusing them with you with with the family it, it it's the most depressing feeling at 37 to still feel like i can speak out about this all i want and nobody is ever going to hear me it's never going to stop my family is always going to emotionally hurt me and they're always going to enjoy doing it and that's what my life is now and it's not there is a big difference between that and just mean comments online there is a big difference between things that your family is verbally saying to you and things that strangers are saying to you in comments.